was literally just taking the fasteners out like you were watching me taking the fasteners out and <laughs> not my face hey what's happening uh it's been a while since i uh, made a video um just a lot going on um some of the stuff has been stuff i could put away, uh, to the side so that's exactly what i've been doing uh work's picked up it's gotten pretty demanding um so uh so yeah there's that now uh what uh, what today's video is going to be is uh a rear view camera replacement on the gmc terrain now to figure out where i set this thing down at i uh got it off of parts geek because they were of course going to be the cheapest place to get it um this thing oem retails for like 175 dollars uh, not exactly the most inexpensive thing that you can just assume is bad without some sort of testing. Um, but as far as parts geek goes, it was $95 shipped. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced that it's actually the camera. Um, it intermittently decides to work and doesn't work. Uh, initially the way that it failed, I thought it was absolutely going to be the camera uh itself um but again like i said it, it started working today uh actually and last night um the uh the one common denominator that uh that i have with this uh this terrain is that uh i've got a code for a low current um from the ignition switch and then all of my other issues that i seem to be having um may be pulling their power from the distribution of the ignition switch. Uh, so if this doesn't fix it, or if it does fix it, and then suddenly I start having problems again, uh, we're probably going to go into ignition switch replacement. Um, so yeah, anyways, I've gotten on all data, taking a look at what it takes exactly to replace this thing. Um, and uh, they make it sound super simple. Uh, so, in order to gain access, you just have to pop the chrome piece off the back here, and uh, whenever you do that, it will obviously give you access to the plug in the back side, and it's only held in and together with uh, two cl clips. Like, it gets inserted into it, and then there's two clips that holds it. I'd love to grab a hold of it with a pair of channel locks and just rip it out of there, uh, but I wouldn't be able to get to the plug. So the the unit that i bought off of parts geek um i mean granted it is a backup camera it's not going to be insanely heavy but it's just this little guy they want 175 dollars for this little guy um the manufacturer does not instill confidence either um definitely an overseas manufacturer uh, granted, I'm sure a lot of what the dealership buys is overseas manufactured parts as well. Uh, however, they do mislead you, and the part number on this is a GM19 something. So it sounds like it's OEM. I don't think it's OEM. But uh, all right, I'm going to try to pop this piece of chrome off without breaking it. And uh, if I break it, I'll let you guys know. All right, update time. So, uh, in order to get that back chrome piece off there, you have to pull all your plastic off. Uh, so, the upper portion here is actually not that bad. Just get a good grip on the outside of it. Uh, some pry tools help. Um, it locks in here in these grooves uh, so don't pull say straight down you'll actually have to kind of pop it inwards uh, other than that you're going to break your clips those are the clips that hold it in you can see that they actually push into the side uh, and they don't actually push into the surface of this here so that is step one uh, I went ahead and removed the panel covers uh, for their light bulb changes just so I could see these clips and look down in. Um, 
So they're push pins for the most part. It's not too bad. Uh, you just pop them loose, work your way around, make sure you can see them all. The one thing you're gonna have to watch is that there is a Torx right here in that hole. Uh, that absolutely needs to come out. And then you'll grab this lip here. And again, uh, it doesn't pull straight down. There is going to be a fastener right here in that slot. And it needs to be pulled out towards you. So that's where we're at. Getting ready to pull this Torx out. And as soon as that Torx is out, it's ready to come down. I lost the bolt. It's in there. Oh, by the way, it's a very good thing that I didn't just start prying like crazy on that chrome piece. Uh, there's most definitely fasteners on the back side of it. All right, so now we're down. Uh, up here, you can't see that. There is another one of like those fasteners and it actually seats into the metal, say this direction. So now I'm gonna have to push the plastic forward. And once I do that, I think this is ready to pop right out and off. I might need two hands for this. I'm gonna need two hands for this. So full transparency, I almost ripped a clip out. Uh, the exact one I was telling you guys not to pull out on, this guy here. Uh, it didn't want to come out. I felt it start to give, so I stopped. Um, actually, it looks like the, the tabs that are supposed to come out with the plastic decided to stay in the vehicle. But uh, anyways, to get the chrome piece off that actually holds your rear view camera, it's four of these what look like little 10 millimeter nuts. And so after that should be easy peasy. Uh, that is of course always the famous last words. So we'll grab a 10 millimeter deep well here. Short extension so we can get into it. taking the fasteners out like you were watching me taking the fasteners out and, and not my face. 
Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so yeah, that's a fastener. That's a fastener, not my face. And then right there, and that little hole there. There she be. Next to it, number four. That should be that. All right, so that's progress. Huh. Made in Canada. Imagine that. All right. It's loose. Okay. Oh, interesting. So now I've got the hardware out of it. It looks like there is, I need something to keep this from latching before I get locked out of the trunk. Got to climb over the seat. I would not be happy. So there is actually uh, some plastic clips along the top side here. So we're gonna try to pop those. Success. Come on. All right, so we're already looking at some really good stuff here. Um, definitely got some weather. Uh, the chrome plating is peeling off the back end here. But uh, so there's the clip for the camera. Nope, there's the clip for the camera. And there's the camera right there. So now I gotta figure out how GM holds this stuff in in its OEM application. Pop the retaining clip. Good news, pins are clean. Which means I just didn't burn 90 bucks for a camera for nothing. Okay, so there they are. I need more than one hand. Good for the paint. Won't tell the wife. Let that uh, rub against the back hatch like it didn't happen. Alright, All right, so I'm going to try to show this here. This is actually really close and tight uh, up against that part of the plastic molding. Really tight up against that part of the plastic molding. So we need a set of picks. So we're gonna to try to do on the back side here find the little spring tab the plastic little spring tab and just rotate that 90 degree pick and put some pressure against that plastic of course I'm saying this like it's easy while I struggle there we go All right. maybe I lied
pull the side I can actually reach. So you just push that little tab in on the back side that retains it. A little bit of side pressure and she pops right out. And I'll see if I can get this other side. There she be. I think. There she be. Just like that. It's out. That's the OEM camera. So these are the little pressure tabs I was talking about. Extremely misleading whenever you first see the part because it looks like you can just uh, set that down there. Makes it look like you can grab it, pull it out without disassembling anything uh, that would make this job like a five minute job which would be great uh, did I mention it's really cold today like eh, it's above freezing I can't complain alrighty so new camera Feed the wire through the hole. Put this back up there, so I'm beating it all over the car. All right, ready for this? This is gonna be satisfying. You guys just noticed what I noticed. It's supposed to be facing outwards. That would have been a bad day. Just like that, clips right in. Nice and tight. Tight like a toy gun. Doesn't count if you don't hear it click. Being down for a second. Well, I guess Chineseium is made clickless these days. Just, you know, line up your holes, reverse your steps. Make sure you tuck your drip lip back in underneath your glass as you go keep a lot of that moisture out from the uh, back side of that uh, you know I mean this year just like that it's back in all right carefully lift up on your gate and put your four nuts back in Careful not to go wild until all of your fasteners are in. I'm actually going to probably suggest that uh, you tighten these by hand, um, even though I'm not trying to go wild oh, as I destroy my tools. One or two Ugga Duggas is probably all these need.
Okay, there we go. Hope you guys aren't counting, because I'm pretty sure that last one was about three or four. It's probably about four. All right. Let's see. All righty, we're tight. Now we can start putting our uh, plastic trim panel back on. Actually, you know what? I'll do you one better. Probably test operation, huh? Oh, also, listen to this. I actually got the exhaust fixed on this thing, not just the uh, the cracked exhaust manifold. But uh, I went ahead and bought all OEM uh, style mufflers uh, for the rear, the intermediate pipe, and then the, uh, the resonator style mufflers in the middle. And uh, just went to the exhaust shop, had them uh, install everything for me, uh, just because. Uh, they have a lift, I don't. They have time, I don't. So. I haven't heard this car this quiet in I don't know how long. Um, timing chase noise, not there. Uh, crack manifold noise, not there. Exhaust leaks, not there. Uh, car actually runs better. Definitely not powerful, but better. Quiet as can be. Uh, it's really weird for me to say that because I like loud exhausts. Uh, but I generally like horsepower that goes with said loud exhaust. Um, so yeah, when, when I say I like quiet now, um, I feel old. All right. So we've got backup camera. I don't know if it's the camera or if it's just because the car is old as it is. Um, image quality is probably same as the factory, maybe right on point, maybe a little worse. It's probably worse, honestly, but uh, it lets me know if I'm getting close to something and that's what matters. Uh, so that is that part of the installation complete. The testing is done. There's push pins along this top ridge here. So we'll just push those in place. And remember, push these in out to the sides. Make sure you don't damage anything. That's a reminder for me, not for you guys. Alright guys, so that wraps it up for the rear view camera install. Uh, wasn't too hard. Um, first and foremost, I will say that uh, before you go spending $95, a uh, fuse is a ton cheaper. Um, 1,000 times cheaper, almost actually. Uh, but apparently it's pretty common. Um, to pop a fuse for the review camera, at least from some of what I've read. Uh, so 
that is located in the uh, the driver or not sorry not the driver the passenger uh, footwell there is an access panel just up underneath uh, or forward of the glove box and uh, it'll have a, uh, a diagram of what fuses go to what uh, so double check your fuse for your backup camera uh, first and foremost before you spend any money that'll be next to nothing in cost compared to actually having to do this but if you do have to do this uh, at least you kind of know how all the panels come off. Um, know not to pry the living crap out of uh, that back chrome piece trying to gain access to, uh, to your, re your rear view camera and uh, costing yourself extra money. So yeah, I'm glad that uh, you guys stuck around. Uh, watched, uh, watched this video that uh, I made here and uh, learned something right along with me. And... Uh, uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, go ahead and uh, you know give me a thumbs up. Love to hear from you guys. Drop a comment, subscribe, stay tuned. Um, you know I'm, I've got about a three-year plan for this car. Uh, I'm going to be stuck with it for at least another three years. So uh, so yeah, we're going to keep working on it, uh, keep it alive, keep it well maintained, and. Uh, Thanks for watching. I'll catch you and the guys in the next one.